OpenAI has a new model, folks. The O1, the highly anticipated Q-Star Strawberry Project is finally here, unlocking new levels of intelligence with improved reasoning capabilities. This new intelligence is designed to focus more on reasoning and reflection compared to previous LLMs and comes in two flavors. The first is a larger, more expensive O1 preview model. The second is the O1 mini, which is 80% cheaper and up to five times faster. OpenAI is leveraging a technique called chain of thought, which helps LLMs to think through questions more carefully and reflect on their reasoning to improve the response quality. Up until now, this technique has been mainly applied at the prompt level. For example, if I were to send a request to ChatGPT, I would include the request for the model to solve the problem step by step. However, this is a bit of a hack and doesn't always give us the best results. What OpenAI has done is move this process into the training phase of the LLM, making it a core feature of the model. This enables the O1 series to methodically solve problems step by step by default, significantly improving its performance. The O1 series excel at solving problems that require logic, math, science, or coding. It takes time to reflect on the process and delivers a high quality response. So if you're facing a tough technical challenge, the new O1 series from OpenAI is going to be top notch. However, it does have its drawbacks. It's slower and much more narrowly focused on reasoning problems compared to other models. For example, O1 might not be the best for writing tasks, but if you've got a tough coding problem, then you're going to go to the O1 to be your go-to problem solver. Another important consideration is that the O1 is much safer compared to previous OpenAI models. Its enhanced reasoning and reflection capabilities enable it to better align with the guidance from the LLM builder. This has resulted in fewer jailbreaks, those are attempts from users to hack the model, and also fewer hallucinations, that's where the models generate incorrect or false outputs. These are major hurdles for LLM adoption in businesses and enterprises. And the fact that the O1 shows significant improvement in these areas is pretty important. Unfortunately, the O1 doesn't come with the same bells and whistles that we can expect with other open AI models. For example, you won't be able to talk with it on voice mode. You can't upload images or documents and it won't be able to generate any images. That said, I think it's only a matter of time before those additional capabilities are enabled for the O1 series. Accessibility is pretty limited. You'll have 30 requests per week on the O1 preview and only 50 on the O1 mini. So use them wisely. The good news is that everyone with ChatGPT Pro and Teams now has access to the model. So go out and give it a try. So what's the bottom line? Is this AGI, artificial general intelligence? I mean, ultimately, that's what we're after in the AI space. Well, I think LLMs have given us a glimpse of AGI. They've fallen short in a couple of key respects, in particular when it comes to reasoning, even on simple tasks. A famous example of this is asking a traditional LLM how many R's there are in the word strawberry. It tends to fail at this very trivial task. The O1's enhanced reasoning capabilities address some of these challenges, making it a meaningful step in AGI and actually solves the strawberry question pretty easily. I'm actually very enthusiastic about agentic frameworks using O1 to handle more complex tasks, particularly in coding. For example, agentic frameworks and coding agents like Devon, Cursor, and Replit leverage top-tier language models to generate responses, self-reflect, and correct themselves, much like O1 does in the background. Right now, Anthropic Sonnet 3.5 has been the best model for this type of agentic framework, but I think that the O1 will soon take the lead in these agentic frameworks, so I expect these frameworks to be supercharged by the O1, leading to better overall agentic outputs and services. And that's really exciting. I'm also pretty happy that OpenAI has released such a significant model and has made it so accessible to so many people. It's a big step forward and I can't wait to see how we build on this next. Typically a new OpenAI model sparks a whole bunch of innovation and the competitors often follow suit. Rumor has it that competitors like Anthropic, Meta, and others are ready to release their next versions of the model after O1 is out. 
So hats off to the OpenAI team. O1 is wonderful, and I'm looking forward to using it more and incorporate it into my workflows. And as I learn more, I'll come back and give you an update. If you have any questions, if you have any thoughts, feel free to drop them below. Thanks, and talk to you soon.